Andy, tell me about the, the art exhibit we've got going on here and, and how this came to be at the library. So this is our second annual uh, Art Slam exhibit. The Art Center actually had the Art Slam back in April, and the winner of the Art Slam gets to have a solo exhibit here at the library. So this is the second one. The artist is Kathy Moore, and we're very excited to host her and have her exhibit opening. And how long will this art be on exhibit in the library? We'll have it on exhibit through the end of August, a little bit into September. So you've got about five weeks or so to come by any time and see it. And I know you had one last year. Did you have pretty good feedback from patrons at the library coming in looking at the art and stuff? We did. We had great feedback last year. People, you know, some people were surprised to see it, come in, get a book, and see some art. And, you know, that's kind of the whole point is to see something different that you wouldn't normally see in a library. It'll be up through uh, the first week in September, so you've got about five weeks or so to come by and see it. Okay. Tell me how this idea of art at the library em emerged. Where did that come from? So last year was our first year that we started a competition called Art Slam. And Art Slam, that the way that we created it is a two-hour event where artists are given a supply of items and they have to create art only using the items that we supply them with a two-hour time frame. And we spoke with the library about partnering about this to do an exhibit for the person that won to host it at the library. Uh, lots of reasons that, that that is important is because people come to the library that may not have been to the art center so we're engaging new people in art also it's yet another community place that if they maybe are looking at art at the art center but they haven't been to the library lately then maybe that would draw them into the library so it's a really great partnership for us to be able to bring the art out into the community in a different way and tell me about the winner this so year the winner in the exhibit tonight is by kathy moore and she is the lead art teacher at tl hannah she is a professional artist as well, but then also teaches at the school. Did she have any comments on this new sort of slam idea, the restrictions of having a short period of time and different organized uh, materials? We have had a lot of good feedback from the artists. Like I said, we this is our second year that we've done it. The first year, we had so many people that were interested in doing it again that we expanded how many artists could participate. So from what I, the feedback we get from them is that they find it really interesting and challenging that they have to step out of their wheelhouse a little bit if they're only painters or if they're only um, collage type artists, then we're asking them to incorporate different things that they wouldn't normally do. And as Anderson County has grown and we see the numbers, uh, how is the arts community growing and how are the people coming into Anderson uh, getting involved in arts? So one of the things we know about art is that it is something that uh, industry actually looks for when they are selecting a place to start a new business. Arts and culture is something that is important to economic development. We have people that have visited us that have moved here with jobs that said that one of the things that they liked about our community was that we had an active art center, that there were cultural events they could attend, that there were classes that they could attend. So we've heard, uh, you know, from the the visitors that come see us that act, that actually is important to them. Another great thing about our community um, is been very supportive of the art center, and what we've seen is that we have gained a reputation. We are now bringing in artists from not just Anderson, but regionally and across the state that are coming to have their exhibits in Anderson, and they are honored and pleased to do so. And it just exposes our community to new and different artists. And for people who've not visited, tell them where you are and when they can visit. So the Art Center is located at 110 Federal Street. We are just off of Main Street, right in between Murray and Main. And our hours are Tuesday through Friday from 10 until 5. Uh, my name is Kathy Moore. Um, I'm an artist from Anderson, South Carolina, and a visual arts instructor at Tail Hannah High School. And how long have you been involved in art? How did you get involved in it? 
involved. I think I've uh, literally always been involved. It's always kind of, I've always been, had a creative nature um, ever since I can remember. Painting my walls in my bedroom and uh, my parents allowing me to have that creativity and fostering my creativity. So that's kind of a tough question. I, I feel like I've always been an artist. Maybe not a practicing artist, but an artist at heart. Actually, no, I didn't, I never took art in school. No. Never took any art in high school. Yeah. How about grammar school? Um, if I did, I don't really remember it, so it really didn't impact me very much. Um, but I think, um, since I'm a high school teacher, I, I think I'm more familiar with that. I never took art in high school, which surprises my students. <laughs> Tell them to pay attention <laughs> and get an early start. How long have you been exhibiting your work? How long have you been doing this? Um, I started really practicing in around 2005. Um, I decided this is what I wanted to pursue. I was teaching and I said, well, how do I go about doing this? Um, graduated from Anderson College at the time with an art education major. And, you know, pursuing your art outside of, you know, teaching was something I really uh, wasn't familiar with. So I did a lot of research and I said, well, how do I go about doing this? Um, I needed a body of work. So, um, I, you know, I've always been a collector of old found objects, old, uh, dusty, dirty things that most people would throw away. So I kind of started with there. I took an encaustic workshop when I was in Asheville, and that's kind of how it started there. And I started creating a body of work. Um, and then I remember my daughter telling me, I said, I, I'm, I'm not sure if this is good. She said, well, are you enjoying the process? I said, absolutely. Um, so it's more to me about the process than the end product. And I think that's where my joy and my success has come from. I don't really worry about the end product and I don't worry about sales. I don't worry about anything like that. I just enjoy what I'm doing. Well, and you mentioned that I like your multimedia stuff and your paintings. Uh, what's the process like different between doing the, the multimedia with your found objects and doing painting? Um, the painting, I've always wanted to kind of paint. Um, I can paint photorealistic, but to me, the, the, the challenge is not really there because you're painting something that already exists. You're kind of copying something. Um, I like very textural things, which shows up in my assemblage pieces. Um, so I started working with paints and layers and mark making, um, using anything I could find. Uh, therefore, there again, going back to the found objects, how I can make marks with paint. And the, so that's kind of how the abstract uh, painting started. And what was the experience of the Art Slam like? Oh, the Art Slam is wonderful. Um, you know, it's funny because I was thinking, I said, well, maybe did I, if I won this year, do I get to compete next year? I'm going to, you know, because it is absolutely so much fun when you get there and you have this box of stuff and you start creating um, and then you make, 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 and the two hours is gone very, very quickly. Um, I think is one of the highlights of my year at the Art Center. And we're only two years in. And, you know, I think we had, I want to say, 14, 16 artists this year. Um, and it's phenomenal. It's like that chef getting the ingredients and making a meal. It's creating artwork, and I think we all have a good time doing it. Now, I do I do think this collaboration between the Anderson Art Center and the library um, brings more and more community involvement. I think this is a phenomenal way to bring the community in. Um, a totally different uh, group of people possibly will see an exhibition that might not see it at the Art Center, might not see it at other places. So I'm on board. I think this is fabulous that, the, that this collaboration between the two.